So far, we've worked with solids and liquids. Now we'll take a look at the properties of gases. Firstly, gaseous molecules move around at high speeds. Because they're able to move past each other easily, they aren't found in a fixed shape. This means that gaseous molecules assume the shape of the container they are in. For example, a gas won't be found in the shape of a crystal vase unless that gas is in that crystal vase. Gases also don't have a fixed volume. This is because gaseous molecules are relatively spread out, so they can be easily compressed to occupy a smaller volume. This then increases the pressure exerted by the gas. But what is pressure? Let's investigate. Pressure is defined as the force exerted by collisions of an object over a specific surface area. Like we said, gaseous molecules are always moving and colliding with the container. We'll make the assumption, and it's a good one, that collisions between molecules are irrelevant. So, the collisions that the gaseous molecules make with the container account for the force they exert on the container. The walls of the container account for the surface area that the molecules exert force on. How would pressure change if the number of collisions were to increase? With an increased number of collisions with the container, the total force exerted by the gaseous molecules increases. This causes the pressure to increase. So an increased number of collisions increases the pressure of the gas. Let's take a look at all of the factors that lead to a change in pressure. First, we'll talk about temperature. Let's take a look at these three identical volume containers. Each of them are the same size and contain two moles of gaseous molecules. However, the first container has a temperature of 350 Kelvin, the second container has a temperature of 375 Kelvin, and the third container has a temperature of 400 Kelvin. We'll use Kelvin for temperature since on the Kelvin scale, which starts at zero Kelvin, absolute zero, the temperature is directly proportional to the kinetic energy and speed of the gases. A higher temperature means a higher average kinetic energy of the gaseous molecules. In other words, the higher the temperature, the faster the gaseous molecules will move on average. How does increasing temperature impact the collisions of the gaseous molecules on the container? Like we said, with an increased temperature, the gaseous molecules will move faster. This means that they'll travel from one wall of the container to the other faster, and the number of collisions in a given period of time will increase. So which of our containers has the gas with the greatest pressure? We've said that with increased temperature, the number of collisions increases. This means that the force exerted by the gaseous molecules on the walls of the container increases. This, then, means that the pressure of the gas also increases. In other words, temperature and pressure are directly related, assuming that volume and the amount of gas stays the same. So the gas in the container with the greatest temperature, container 3, will have the greatest pressure. Now let's take a look at three new containers. This time, all of them will have the same volume and be at the same temperature, but there will be different amounts of gas in each container. In this container, we'll have 0.1 moles of gas. In this one, we'll have 0.5 moles, and in the last one, we'll have one mole of gas. How does increasing the amount of gas affect the collisions of the gaseous molecules with the walls of the container? Increasing the amount of gas in a same-sized container means that there are more gas molecules that are able to collide with the walls of the container. This means that the number of collisions increases. Because the number of collisions increases, pressure will increase as well. So, the amount of gas and pressure are directly related, assuming the volume of the container and the temperature are constant. But what if we were to decrease the volume of the container while keeping the amount of gas and the temperature the same? Let's investigate. This container will have a volume of 1 liter, this one will have a volume of 10 liters, and this one will have a volume of 50 liters. What do you expect to happen to the pressure exerted by the gas if the volume of the container were to decrease? If the volume of the container were to decrease, gaseous molecules will have less time to travel between collisions. This means that the frequency of collisions will increase and the pressure exerted by the gas will also increase. So a decrease in volume causes an increase in pressure. In other words, volume and pressure are inversely related, assuming temperature and the number of gaseous molecules stays the same. We've just learned all of the factors that affect pressure. Notice one thing. The identity of the gas does not impact the pressure. We'll explore why that is the case in another video. In the next video, we'll put all of the factors we discussed here together.